Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to answer this question. Which transformation can perform operations such as sum, count and group by? Just take a look at the question what we understand. In the T-SQL if we need to do sum, count and group by we always understand these are the aggregate functions. So the same thing is happening in the SSIS. So what we need to see we need to find some aggregate transformation. Uh, if we are on the control flow, we will not be able to find any transformation because it has only tasks. So we have to have a go to data flow. So I'm clicking on data flow and then uh, to read the data from the source, uh, I'm going to use a uh, OLEDB source and then we will bring the transformation that can perform uh, count and uh, sum and uh, group by. So let's read the data from the source. In this case, we are reading the data from uh, one of the table and then I have few columns. I'm not going to build the entire uh, package. The package is already created. I have a video on this one, how to use this one, how to remove duplicate records uh, by using aggregate transformation and uh, uh, there, there are multiple examples uh, available in uh, the video. So now we need to bring the aggregate. Aggregate transformation is a transformation that can be used to perform these operations. So let's connect this one. And now what we have here, we have ID, name and all those kind of thing. And the, in the operations, you can see we have group by, we have count, we have count distinct, we have sum, average, minimum and maximum. So all these uh, aggregate functions uh, can be done uh, on, on this uh, data. So it de depend upon the, that like if you are uh, having a first name and last name, you will not be able to do the sum. Um, of these uh, uh, string columns but if you want to do some number you have uh, let's say you have money or something then you can take the sum of that that column and group by these column let's say first name and last name so aggregate transformation is a transformation that can be used to perform any aggregate function in SSIS for us uh, thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you next video